hello everyone welcome back my name is Madan today in this video I'm going to show you how we can use the rest API provided by Olama who is uh, is installed in our local PC and then consume that rest API uh, to query the open source uh, last language model llama 2 so here I have opened the website for olama.com and if uh, we go to the github for that uh, for Olama then uh, if we scroll down then we we'll, we can see the uh, port that Olama uh, is uh, running in our local PC so the port is 11434 so once you install the Olama and once you run it and when you go over to this URL then you should see something like this so it is saying that Olama is running so, uh, that means the uh, we can query the um, REST API provided by Olama uh, from our code to get the response. So let's close this, and then now I have let's open the VS Code and then let's create few files here. So first of all, I'm going to create requirements.txt, and uh, I'll be needing Streamlit for generating the UI. Streamlit and another file would be let's say app.py and uh, from this file uh, we are going to query the rest api and get the response from the uh, large language model and uh, in this case uh, uh, i'm going to use the llama2 open source model so let's close all of those warnings from bs code and then first of all i'm going to import the request to make the API call I also need to import the JSON and then I'm going to import streamlit as ST now I will construct the request equal to and then I'm going to construct the dictionary of the request here so URL and the URL is HTTP slash less localhost you can find this URL in the github of uh, Olama 11434 one one four three four and slash api slash generate so this is the url we need to query to get the response and we also need to have the headers for the request so let's create the dictionary of the headers and in this uh, header i'm going to pass the value of content type which will be application slash json after that uh, i'm going to need the data that uh, we are going to uh, post to the API so we have to specify the model here model will be llama2 and then uh, we need to set the value of the stream to false and uh, we can send the prompt from here as well PROMPT prompt let's say hello good evening but we are going to send this prompt uh, uh, from the streamlight uh, user input and then later we will modify this data so let's not send the prompt here for now and so this is our request right and then i'm going to create a one function here get api get api response so this function will expecting url headers and data as a parameter and then we need to create the response variable and then we are going to send the post request to the url of the olama so url and we will pass the headers equal to whatever headers that comes as a parameter and we need to convert this data as json so we need to dump this as json dot dumps so now after calling the api sending the post request to, to api we need to check if we get success or failure so if success dot if response dot status underscore code equal to equal to 200 that means we got the success response then we are going to return response dot json dot get we'll be getting the <coughs> output from the llm in this uh, response key you can find this in the documentation of the olama so we are going to return that 
else we're going to return the error saying error getting data from the LLM and then after then I'm going to create another function let's say uh, process UI process UI and then this function has no parameters so I'm going to create the uh, UI using streamlit so st.title and so let's write welcome to running llama2 llama locally and then let's create a text input variable and text input equal to streamlit dot text underscore input and then uh, let's write uh, enter your question here and okay enter your question here and then i need to have a submit button as well so submit equal to st dot button submit submit and if user clicks on submit then if user clicks on submit then we are going to call the api so we need to set the prompt in this data variable in this data dictionary in order to do that what i'm going to access the data first and then set the prompt in that uh, prompt key and value so uh, i'm going to access request this request dictionary and access the data from here and uh, after that i'm going to add prompt equal to now the quiz uh, user query so that comes from the text input so that is the text input now we need to get the yeah we need to call this uh, uh, get response uh, get api response so let's say result equal to get api response but for that we need to pass these parameters headers and data so all of these are present in this dictionary so i'm going to get the url first so url equal to request dictionary url key and then headers equal to request dictionary and headers key and then data equal to request dictionary data this data so everything is in place now we have this result here now let me print the result in the console and then uh, let's write the output to the streamlit so uh, st dot write result so we have a request url header data we call the api store result in the result variable print that in the terminal and then write that to the output okay now we need to call this function process ui so for that uh, underscore underscore name equal to equal to main so in the entry point we are going to call this uh, process ui function so that should be all now let's uh, run it so uh, let's install the requirements so pip install dash r requirements dot requirements dot txt okay now let's run our uh, app dot fi and i'm in the folder uh, olama api new folder already in that folder so i can do streamlit run app dot pi so now we have got the uh, output in the streamlit successfully but it says that method object is not subscriptable so uh, let's see 
so it says that st dot button it is showing error in submit button okay did I do something wrong here in submit so streamlit dot button and then submit oh, I got it so this should be the parenthesis not the square bracket let's save this and then let's stop and run this again so now we have created successfully we have created the ui successfully now let's query the uh, api provided by olama and the ultimately that is going to call the uh, llama to open source model so let's go over to the browser and then let's say hello good evening now it is going to take some time based on the uh, hardware of uh, your pc so finally we got the response so it is saying hello good evening to you as well how are you doing today so that is all in this video uh, feel free to like subscribe comment and share and i'll see you in the next thanks for watching